Good morning. Happy anniversary. That's right. Today is our anniversary and it's our last day here in the cabin. Um, thankfully they said we could take our time and just enjoy the day before we head home. But this morning I took the car. We got a bunch of snow yesterday. <coughs> I took the car to go get coffee this morning. And when I came back, I couldn't get up the mountain. So, <laughs> Ollie just slipped a little bit on the, his paw slip on this hardwood floor. But the car is at the bottom of the mountain hill. I mean, it's only like probably a quarter mile um, away, but I am going to head back down there. Some more cars have driven on the road up here since I came this morning, so I'm wondering if the car will get up now. So I'm gonna try to bring the car up. We'll see what happens, and then <coughs> we'll go from there. I did see that Dollar General has some sleds if we needed to sled our stuff down the hill. And stuff meaning me. <laughs> and all of our stuff. So let's see how this goes. Let's look at how majestic Oliver is. Oh, Ollie boy. Oh, Ollie boy. People think you're such a toy, but I'm telling you, he's, he's a, a real, real dog. dog. A really real dog. And we're enjoying this majestic view. All right, we are packing up and we, oh wait, did you tell them you made it up? Yes. Yes, I did. okay, good. Um, <clears throat> so I just thought I would give us a little review of our cabin house. Cabin is not really an appropriate word for this house. Um, my guess is that this cabin is like a year old. It's really new and nice. Um, <clears throat> and having CF, one of the most important things for us when we're looking for a place to stay is clean air environment and that sort of thing. So um, <clears throat> when we spoke to the owner before we rented it, um, they assured us that it, they have, they told us they have a <clears throat> what did they call it? Like big time air Medi filter? Medical grade, yeah. What, medical what grade this? air filter. So we come in. They were not kidding. That's an air filter. And it is. it does its job really well. It's totally, like when you think of a cabin, you think of like a cabin smell. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't smell like wood. It doesn't smell like anything at all. And like all of this is just like brand new. So <clears throat> here's our review. It is so crazy to me that all of the walls are glass and I love it. There are just no people out here, so it's totally fine. Um, it's just funny. So all of the, the glass walls equal a lot of light, which I'm enjoying. <clears throat> all of the plants that they have, I thought they were all fake. They're all real. Real plant, real plant. Um, the toilet room, of course. It works, great. Um, the bathtub, my review of a stone tile bathtub is, yes please. I don't think I would choose it for my everyday bathtub. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why. Maybe I would. Would you? Um, I don't know. It, uh, well, I don't think so because we, we determined it seems a little bit, it was 
very clean, but it seems a little bit harder to clean. Yes. Than like a regular like smooth surface tone. Yes, that is true. So that, that would be my only downfall. Downfall with it. This it was super comfortable. Yes, it was. I thought that the tiles were going to be like freezing cold or something, but I think it actually works the opposite way. I think the water heats the tiles up and then they stay warm. Yeah. So And it took the tub like forever to fill up and the, it kept the water warm. Yeah. Um like we would put more warm water as it cooled down. Yeah. It was it was good. It's really nice. Now this particular one I would not have in my own house because Oliver can't get into it. It's too tall. Um, <clears throat> but in general, a tile tub is a yes in my book. And I've, I've seen them. I've seen them on TV. I don't know. I've seen them in magazines or something. I've just never tried one. And when I showed Mary that we were coming here and that it was a tile tub, she was like, I've always wanted to try one of those. <laughs> So, <clears throat> this is definitely not a house to rent if you have a family because there's no wall. So, there's that. Um, but that's okay. It's just us. Yep. So, yes. Um, bathtub was awesome. Um, yeah, everything was wonderful. Like, I'm like, can we book this place again? Um, the ceiling is my favorite part of the entire house. I think, yeah, even more than the bathtub, this ceiling, I can just lay here and look at it. And I just imagine the history, <clears throat> the history of these beams. And it's just so cool. And at night with these lights going up like that, it's really neat. Um, what else? Oh, the piano, that was super fun. Because I've never played the piano. Um, I've never had piano lessons or anything, so sitting down and playing around with it was really fun. <clears throat> um, now, this is interesting. I really wanna ask the owners about this. Um, trap door in the floor? I'm not kidding you. Look, and the funny thing is, this was higher when we got here, and it, throughout the days it's lowered. It's very odd. We're very we curious. Not quite sure what the deal is with that. And then, of course, this thing is where the TV screen lowers down from, which is like, come on, that's like from the movies. So, um, we were imagining. I'm gonna sit down. Um. We were imagining if we were here when it's warm out, you could open these doors, actually all of these doors, and not those, just these. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty nice in the warm weather, I think. These are speakers that we never figured out how to get hooked up. And of course, the one and only yurt. Now, it didn't really work out for us because the fire made it too hot and it's probably too cold without the fire on, but hey. It's cool, like it's a cool concept. It's and so cool it in there. It's fun to like be like, hey, we experienced a yurt. Yeah, seriously. Um, so that was a little bonus. Finishing IVs at the cabin, that was a plus. And Ollie boy's always a plus. What do you think? Did you like this cabin? It was a very special place. So cool. There's my review of the cabin. And then these three giant closets are locked. They must be storage for the owner. Um, and yes, we did find this place on Airbnb, which we've used Airbnb a handful of times, wouldn't you say? Actually, I think we've, we've looked on Airbnb a lot. I can only remember this time and another time that we've actually used it. Well, but we've helped other people book places and yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, Airbnb is pretty cool. I think not sponsored, not sponsored at all, mm -hmm. but Hey, Airbnb. Yeah, actually <laughs> if you guys want to use our referral code. You can get like $30 off a booking and it earns us 
some travel credit too. So that'd be sweet. Should we put the link in the description? We shall. There you go. All right, guys, we got our stuff all packed and we are getting ready to say goodbye to the cabin. Yeah, we just took some family pictures. Yeah. Bing. We are getting ready to get on the road home. I'm Crazy. I'm a little nervous to go outside. Yeah. I drank a Scandi shake probably like half hour ago. Okay. So hopefully when I cough, when I go outside, it won't. You know what? Yeah. So. Oh yes, I forgot to add the Edison phonograph. Edison oh, standard phonograph. That's pretty cool. Oh yes, and you guys were very on it with locating his ball, which he's playing with right now. Yeah, when Did it went bring your ball? yesterday, yeah. it went into that closet, and we had you guys blew up the comments, letting us know that it was under there. We did happen to get it out before that, but we were like, man, they got our back. They have our back. One last drone flight. One last look at this view. I'm so thankful we were able to come. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. There's the other member of our family, the drone. Until next time. Oh, are you okay? Yep. Okay, I fell on your arm. Okay, okay. it's okay. <laughs> We are on our way home and it was so perfect. We just stopped um, about halfway home and met up with a friend and um, that was super fun just for a few minutes, but um, it was great to see her. And now we are just gonna make our way home. About an hour left and the GPS, I don't know why, took us for like 20 minutes on a back road which was so snowy and bad. We were like silent the whole time, just like staring yeah. at the road. Peter did an amazing job driving and he kept us safe. We were like in the middle of nowhere. Like if we crashed, no one would have known for years. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was really, really weird. Like there were houses, but everything was dark. It was kind of eerie. It was very, very weird. But we, we made it and we're about to get on the highway again. And yeah, my leg hurt so bad from that fall. Oh. Guys. I feel so sad for Peter's leg. Oh, it's totally fine. It's probably just bruised, but I like had something in my pocket and landed on it. And so it's a little sore. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sure when we watch the footage from that, we'll get some good laughs. Oh. Yeah. Or cries. Yeah. I was just so concerned for him. Like, I was I so was... concerned for you as we were falling. But I was so concerned for you. <laughs> I was just like, just, just lay down. It's okay. Just take a minute. 
and he was like trying to get up and I didn't know if he was broken. I, I just missed the steps. It's all right, and then we hit a blizzard. Yeah, look at this, guys, it's crazy. That is amazing. Do you see it in the camera? Yeah, 100%. Wow. It was just like all of a sudden we hit this wall of snow. That is crazy and kind of scary. You guys, we're almost home. Look at the snowy sky. I love a snowy sky, meaning it's like foggy and colorful, sort of like pinkish. Okay, you can't see anything in this footage. Never mind. You guys, look. It's our yard we and it's full of home. snow and we are home and we're gonna say good night. We got here safely. There was a blizzard. It was crazy. It was crazy. But we had a great weekend together and with you guys. And as, as always, always, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. night.